Hi, I'm Luke, host of The War Report. These are my co-hosts Nick, Rock, and Rachel, my fearless friends. Fabulous secrets were revealed to me when I held open my new codex and said, By the power of Codex 3, I am the Metal! Hello, and welcome to another episode of The War Report. Port. Good evening, everybody. I already mentioned before, I am Luke, the host for tonight. I am joined here by today by my fearless friends uh, and co-hosts uh, Nick, Rock, and Rachel. Good evening, everybody. Good hey. evening. Good evening. Top of the evening to you. Hello. Well, uh, I hope you enjoyed that little intro. Mostly just uh, throwing the jab at the weekend because we this is the Masters episode. We have the Masters of Career Tournament, so we're going to get into that. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of stuff happened. Funky stuff, funny stuff. But before that, I just want to catch up because it's been a while since we talked. I think, Rachel, you were not here last time. So mostly want to catch up with you in some stuff with uh, 40k in general. But how are you being, boys? How are you being, folks? Uh, I didn't do honestly, a lot of 40k well. related. <laughs> tired um but i recently started getting my league games in because we're coming down to the last month and i've been busy but uh yeah oh, God, i just uh this was my first ne like serious necron game in a very long time um i had literally oh, just wrong. enough necrons to play um even though my king's unpainted right now uh king boy needs Ooh. painted uh but he's gonna be the king is gonna take me anywhere from 30 to 50 hours um so it's gonna uh yeah because i'm gonna do true metallic metal on oh, the okay. entire uh celestial wheelchair Ooh. Um, true metallic or non-metallic true <laughs> metallic or non-metallic true, me true metallic true metallic okay because honestly like it doesn't it's just not a piece that i would do non-metallic metal maybe on the king but I was looking at the wheelchair and it doesn't strike me as a piece I want to do in non-metallic because I don't want the attention drawn to the throne. I want the attention drawn to the king because he's unlike the rest of my Necrons. He's actually going to be uh, the GW um, like old gold color, like bronzish, bronzish gold color. Mm. So I want and he's going to be against this super dark steel and red uh backdrop so i kind of want him to look a little bit different and have, have him stick out as like a gold necron on this black and red throne mm. so it's gonna be good but it, good. if they look like the your sith necrons it's gonna be lit. yeah mm. it's gonna look like my sith crons um except the king is gonna be the only thing that's different i'm thinking Excuse about i might do Lord. either do him super dark or i might do him in pure silver you know i haven't decided um, yet well, I don't know if you, I do. I don't, I don't know if you're gonna do some kid bashing. I saw this guy on Facebook. My goodness, I, can't, I don't remember the name, but he makes like a lot of custom stuff, especially for cross. He made his own uh, variations of all the katanas. Oh, that guy. They look. Yeah, you know which one it is. Was yeah. Uh, Why don't you show? Um, Why don't you share with like, us? I have no idea what you're talking about. I, I, I'll show. I'll find the the the. the I'm the, trying to the remember the guy's makes, name. Yeah, he makes some really uh, stuff. But not just uh, Kid Bashes in general. He makes a mix of Catans with Eldritch Gods, Cthulhu kind of stuff. Ooh. And he's making his own version of the Silent King. And you know he has like a cloak. Uh -huh. So he fixes the cloak and make like a bodysuit. So the king is using the skin of a katan oh. as a freaking coat. He's using That's like the, awesome. the, 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 the epidermis of a katan as a, as a coat by him. And he's like walking out of it. Like this is my, my outer skin. It looks so... All over the top. I love it. I'm gonna find the photo and send it to you guys. But it's on it's on Facebook. The guy is just insane. That's like uh, just like the um, sound of paper. That sounds pretty insane. Yeah. <laughs> like I like that. I was gonna oh. say. Yeah, uh, sorry, I have the guy's name. Uh, it's oh. uh, at least on Reddit because that's where I saw his stuff first. Uh, it's the mm -hmm. War Singer. Ooh. Yeah, uh, and that's I, the guy. Oh, I have it on Facebook. That's who's doing this? Yes, yeah. he makes a lot of uh, a lot of katans. Yeah, I know the war singer. Okay, okay. This guy uses no. hot glue and wire, yes. and it's so fast. I really wish he would like do even more tutorials about how he does his stuff. Because like, even if I can't do it myself, it's just super fascinating to see. And like, you see them put together without any paint, and you're like, I don't know how. I mean, yeah, it looks cool. And then he paints them incredibly well. And you're like, whoa. whoa. I mean, they're really, really amazing pieces of art. Shout out to that guy. 
Um, yeah, this yeah. man, he's insane. He, I, I'm sending you a photo later on the, uh-huh. the cacao chat yeah. so of, of him making the king. But yeah, so it's so the... stupid. I love it. Yeah, the geriatric, uh, the geriatric king on his cosmic wheelchair did some work today. I was so excited whenever I got on here because the combo I had been theory crafting today, for today, worked. Where I dropped, uh, where I basically rolled the king up to midboard, and then veil of darkness, uh, twenty warriors right in front of him. So I was as a Mephret dynasty. I was in my protocol of the vengeful stars. At half range, uh, he got I got an extra AP. He got no cover. All my sixes expl- uh, exploded and auto wounded. Sixes to wound did up to three mortals, and I was hitting on twos reroll with full rerolls. So literally, I rolled it and started fishing for sixes. It was and t- ten warriors dropped 10 repentia so the squad of 20 dropped two repentia and then the king unloaded on the two characters the dogmata and the palatine that were you know supposedly safe behind 20 repentia apparently they were safe but uh one of them got hit with an annihilator beam (laughs) which was hilarious um you don't know hilarious until he just failed until uh until um Justin just fails a save on an annihilator beam, just looks at me, looks down, because he doesn't really have any, uh, he doesn't have really any um, miracle dice yet, because it's turn one. Just looks down, looks at me, and just pulls his dogmata off the table. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even yeah. bother. It was, I think the final score being like uh, 86 to 52. And the big issue is he just couldn't get rid of my... Um, he just yeah 86 to 56 he couldn't get rid of my 20 man uh reaper squad he got rid of the flares but a 10 man squad of reapers and a 20 man squad of reapers lived to the end and just started unloading on people nice. yeah it was all um, in all it was a good game and i'm really crons are fun crons are just fun catching in other games rachel i think last time we talked you played tau wasn't it did I no. not talk about that last time on on the? Uh... I think you you mentioned the game was yeah, happening. Yeah, you mentioned it. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, but you didn't I wasn't talk, there didn't last week, and that would yep. have been the time that I would have. Yeah, so I played uh, against Remy's Tao. Um. Yeah, so I played against Remy's Tao. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just as a heads up, uh, Remy ended up in the pod for Seoul. Uh, basically, it was a, lo- a lot of. First, uh, first timers in terms of uh, to competitive stuff, and Remy, as you already know, is one of the most competitive monsters we have there. So basically, that pot is the Dark Souls pot. <laughs> so I mean, really, it's like <laughs> rushing. Like it's, it's, it's just a rain like pod. Yeah, I feel like Sorry, I fought the boss jump. like first, honestly, because it's not no no shade at all to the other uh, people that are in our pod, but Remy is the one that I am like the most scared of because he just really knows what he's doing, he has tons of experience. And, um, like, yeah, of course I got beat. Um, I took a list that was a little bit different than um, the list that I have been running for the tournament. I took, like, a bunch of Terminators, basically, in the place of the Dreadnoughts, because mm-hmm. I didn't want the Dreadnoughts to just become, like, really expensive piles of molten metal on turn one. Um, so, yeah, it actually ended up kind of working. I think I stayed alive until turn four, so that's cool. Um, I got to do some turn three stuff, which was fun. Like, I still just kind of need to understand how to um, move my guys around, because I kind of ended up, and this is the cool thing about Remy, is he gave excellent feedback after our game uh, as well. I kind of, because, you know, he plays uh, Black Templars, and you know, kind of understands how my army would play well as well. So he was able to get, give really good feedback. But yeah, I, I just kind of really need to learn how to like strategically move my stuff around basically and like not drip feed my expensive units into stuff that's just going to kill them and overcommit in some areas and undercommit in others. And it's just it's just stuff that I'm learning basically because I still haven't played that much essentially. But I had a fun time and uh, 
I killed Farsight in melee, which was the most important personal victory. <laughs> the moral victory. <laughs> no, the, the personal victory was killing the only guy with a sword with my own sword. So, <laughs> and that, that was entertaining. And honestly, yeah, did I get beat? Yes. Mm-hmm. Did the shooting phase feel really bad? Of course it did. I mean, like, the my favorite thing in this game is definitely not shooting. So it feels really bad to sit there and just die to shooting and basically feel like you can't do anything about it. But... I mean, different armies play different ways. Hey, did you and, feel uh, like the Lamenter? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm really feeling like the uh, the, the yellow blood vibe. angels at this moment, honestly. <laughs> well, but um, the, I think all yeah. blood angel players are feeling like that right now. Uh, we're yeah. not doing the hottest it's, uh, in the meta. It's but, not. You know, a, it's not a good day. It is what it is. I still really love my army. I mean, at the end of the day, um, I think I said this many times before. Like, if you don't just play competitive. Like, if you don't just play to win, and that's, you know, a valid thing to do in this hobby as well, is you just like playing the game and you just like the strategy and you just like winning. Um, That's valid as well. But I really like my army from like a lore standpoint, from the crafting standpoint, all the hours I've put into them. Mm -hmm. Um, And I like them how they play in theory, you know, when I actually get to stab people and don't get like, you know, shot off the table, (laughs) certain one. But yeah, it is what it is. Um... The uh, the meta is constantly changing, so what's good one month may not be good next month. What's good one week may not be good next week. So unless uh, you're our, Drakari, our time will come. unless our you're time Drakari, will come. then you're just always good. <laughs> <laughs> I I missed out on the beginning of ninth when Blood Angels were apparently OP for at least a little while, and they had their brief shining I mean, moment uh, until Death Guard happened. They were good until yeah. Death Guard happened. Yeah, I, I entered right after. Most of them back, and it was like, "Hello, Blood Angels. This is a bite spawn." You don't Hello, Blood Angels. Charge is not a thing. That, that's how it was, honestly. Everything you do, we take away. And then you just sit yeah. there and die. Anything you can do, I can just take it away. <laughs> I can just take a thing uh, better than you. It's literally so you know you a like, no, you didn't. player <laughs> pulling out the cancel card. Ew. Ooh. No. Ooh. Cancel. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Um, I will cancel and you, And other rock. than that... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Other than that, uh, I've acquired some new materials uh, for the gray shame pile, so that's nice. Great. So it's no longer just pile of shame; just it's just a gray uh, shame pile now. The gray gray shame pile. So I got it's growing. Basically, almost two uh, betrayal of calf boxes. Um, so that's a lot of delicious Mark III Marines and. Uh, Cataphracty armor terminators and another contemptor, um, and some fun stuff to build up my 30k blood angels. And I have some knights, some more knights now. Ooh. I got a hold of a what is it, renegade box? Courtesy of Benny. So Yep. Um got more knights. Three knights is basically like a whole so army, you, so you it's doing fine. The chaos wait, wait, wait. You actually uh, bought no, knights. These are gonna, yeah, I have three now. Oh, d- you got that what? piece of terrain? I yeah. Please. Yeah. I already <laughs> told you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want Dude, terrain. I do not care about terrain. But, <laughs> do no, not because care. Uh, I'm getting a I'm trying to build up uh, a ter- a bit of a terrain collection. Um just because I want to start uh I want to host games, but I want to have more Options. thematic tables. No, I like themes. Uh, okay. I like whenever my tables have a theme. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if I spend this much making the tables look good or making my armies look good i want to have like a cool looking table and you know since i'm only preparing for one i can afford to do that um, yeah i mean the, the, the terrain piece in that box is cool i just like you know i really only care about collecting armies so it's more like yeah. i don't i don't really care that much um but yeah i'm excited i've got three knights now um there'll be imperial knights first i'll do imperial knights before i do chaos knights so now I just need like a couple armigers and boom, that's a yeah, whole army right there. Chaos Knights first. The chaos are always superior. Speaking you say of... that. Uh do, do I... I need to call your new your new buddy the Emperor and tell him what you just said? <laughs> Spe- speaking As of collecting knight. speaking of collecting armies like baseball cards, I'm starting another one. What? <sighs> what? This is Go about on, my oh. shame pile, not about your shame pile, Nick. My shame pile grows. <laughs> We're adding a fourth army. What? 
But in my defense, it is an Age of Sigmar army. Yeah, I thought you were talking about your Age of Sigmar. Uh, or honestly, it? like I want, I'm getting more into Sigmar because as much as I love 40k, Luke can back me up on this. Sigmar feels like a breath of fresh air. Because no, no, it feels a, a breath of fresh air because the demons that you love so much are actually good. <laughs> <laughs> so you can actually. <laughs> hey, do you know you circumvent CP issues? You play a game yeah. that removes it. <laughs> See, this is, this is what's going to get said. This is what's going to get said once I start playing 30k too. Because I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, it's a breath of fresh air. I just show up with my army that's like super lovingly built and somebody else has brought theirs. And we just talk about like um, Horus Heresy books for like three hours and then just kind of play a game. But like there's no meta. We just have fun. And, <laughs> and I'm going to buy a uh, Kabanda. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm buying I'm buying I'm buying Kabanda and we are having a 1v1. <laughs> oh yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. When I get Sanguinius painted up, we will have so, Sanguinius Prime 2 Electric Boogaloo. Can you Sanguinius do that? painted up in, in, in 2023? <laughs> Six <coming>. years later. <laughs> yeah, as I was say, I think I might Demons are gonna have a codex before uh Sanguinius gets painted. Hey. I'm calling it Before now. Before Sanguina gets assembled. Well, GW literally it still in the box. Chaos, still in the box. So there's also that. Before, yeah. before, G, before uh, demons get a codex, Sanguinius will not have been base coded. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've been degenerate. Why are you going to be dirty like that? You know what? I'm, I'm saying that he's not even, not even going to be built. He's still in the box. <laughs> See? 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 Oh wait, wait, wait. did you great, did you straighten out his spear? No. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is a uh, resin warps. Okay, <laughs> he's trying his best. Oh. Is this resin warps? No, resin doesn't warp. Resin just cracks. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I'm kind thing. of that's kind of terrified of putting that model together, honestly. And but, yeah, it, but yeah, we'll see. But yeah, my cane army. I'm learning how to do. Um, uh, non metallic for it. Um, because you know, Sigmar armies are smaller, so I can afford to. It's more like heresy style, but I'm a big fan of fantasy. Always been reading shows. Um, I'm getting Lord of the Rings tattooed on my arm. Like, I'm a huge fan of fantasy. We so, get it. Um, We're all nerds. <laughs> but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do Marathi's metal in non metallic. And I saw this person. I'm like, oh, this looks really cool. It's a uh, purple. It's like a purple non-metallic metal. I'm like, oh, this Marathi looks real cool. I wonder if I can like pull this off. I wonder if he posted pictures. First sentence. Hey, so I decided to have a little bit of post golden demon fun. And click. Okay. <laughs> and I'm like, and I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, you can see this. The, like the the big thing about all the. Um the golden demon painters that have or like what a crystal brush or whatever um the a really award-winning painters is like look we, we've all seen duncan's first space marine like you start somewhere and you practice and you get better like you yeah. shouldn't feel discouraged just because you look at the work of somebody who like free hands the sistine chapel on the side of a warlord titan and you're like oh i can't do that it's like yeah right now you can't do that but you have to practice you have to try it's Get, all about getting yeah. better right well uh marathi is at least good all of her uh metallics are hard edged are hard edges so i can just put the highlight on and then just wet blend it together pretty easily because it's very clear where the light is on that mm. on that model the light the light uh points are very very clear or you could do the superior technique and use oils for all your non-metallic metals and make it 300 I, times I faster. Have been I have been using oils before you started Warhammer. Ooh. Well, you know. <laughs> slow down, then slow down, them, boys. You're not using them to their full potential. So I, I, I mean, I just don't. I've never had a reason to do non-metallic. That's kind of why I've just never learned it. I've never had a reason to. Now I do. Okay, anyway, now I feel anyway, like I anyway, do. Anyway, 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 anyway. <laughs> um... So that's pretty much catching up with the obvious stuff. I mean, I haven't said so, anything, but okay. it's, uh, anyway, yeah, so that's I mean, catching yeah. up. <laughs> that's catching up. That's catching up. We, 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 okay, we have a little more time, Rock. Any comments on you? Because I know you've been working on your Forge World stuff. Uh, Forge World stuff. Well, in my case, I have been working on the 3D models. Um, I've been making my proxies for Blighthowlers. Yes, I call them Blighthounds. 
Don't you already yeah. have? I like that. Don't, you, yes, don't you already have the obliterators? <laughs> trademark, um, trademark, trademark, mine. Uh, I'm making my own now. Mm-hmm. I'm naming didn't it. You made, didn't you make the last ones? No, no, but uh, I like the last one, but I wanted to make something new. And this design that I came up with, like when I just like thought of it, and after when I heard like the Baltimore's lore or something like that, like you know, on a YouTube. I was like, oh, this is it. I need to make something like this. And I literally just made it. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Uh, make sure to post right. the pictures, Luke, this time. <laughs> okay, I'll try. Give me photos. I'll try. Okay, okay. Forge World, Forge okay, World Nick it. will be uh, open for business. Also, yes. Luke, or Rock, let's not let's not uh, get on people about that, Mr. Justine. <laughs> <laughs> oh god nobody knows. <laughs> nobody knows nobody knows nobody knows anyway um that's it with the casino for real now um so this last weekend was the big event we mentioned last week uh is the it was the masters of korea invitational thing it was an event that it was supposed to be held and have at least the eight uh, players who scored the most points during the last season it was organized by the local Templar, uh, High Marshal Darmond, and uh, it was rescheduled like a lot of times. It was supposed to be in February, but then it was moved again and again and again and again. And we have a lot of dropouts, a lot of people who just tag along and join in, and even though people coming back and forth, they kind of finally settle. And it was done last Sunday. It was hosted at these, organized by Ruby, and uh, the players were uh, Mike. Nick, Rock, Daniel, Christoph, me, D, and I think I'm somebody else. Ah, Drew. Drew, Drew. <laughs> that's it. That's all. That's all. So we have two custodies, uh, two Death Guard, uh, Krons, uh, two Taos, and we had T Sons. Uh, what's the last one? Uh, T Sons. T Sons. Oh, did you T-sons. mention Michael also? Hmm? Yeah, uh, I mentioned okay. No, no, I said Michael. Well, the, 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 the most in- yeah, <laughs> I mentioned okay, Michael. Okay. The most interesting thing about this tournament, it was just not only the players, it was the armies. Uh, I, I managed to pull the feet, which uh, it was never impo- it was never possible before. I was I was able to play at two tables at the same time, and then I was able to play at three tables at the same time. I was in three tables oh, at the same time. Only on the third. Oh, you used your standard ability. Only on the third game. Cause uh, I play. <laughs> you're at two tables for the first two games. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, in this tournament, um, Nick ended up borrowing my my Delga army because he wanted to do something uh, different. Uh, also, prove some of the stuff. So he borrowed my models, my entire army. I made a list. Uh, it, the list was made well, based on what I want to play or the way I want to play. So Nick was trying to basically catch up, catch up with what I was building up. And we have a few games, so go on. Uh, you want to start, guys? I'll start or? because I want to recount game one. Um, but I have to really ask a quick question. Um, Rock, how does it feel to be the third best Death Guard player on this podcast? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it says in the paper, but uh, I don't know. I, I, so our first game was me against Rock. And um, I got first turn, so I got my Epidemus out first. Um, and I, that That's was huge. Big. And I was able to get his, uh, plague Marines, whereas mine were hidden behind up obsc- were hidden. So all he could do was like put some mortars on him, but never really got to him. So I was able to get tallies no, out first. I shot it with the entropy, but it, everything missed. Yeah. I was so. going to say, I put mine behind, a um, dense cover. So, but anyway, just yeah. So I, you know, I made life hard on him to hit me. Um, and so, uh, and I was able to get my possessed into his back line untouched. Um, that's kind of what spelled the doom is none of us actually knew what a possessed could do until it blew up two PBCs. And we're like, uh, without any buffs, just base blew up two PBCs. We're like, oh, that's yeah, scary. Uh, there were buffs involved. Uh, you were buffing them. Dude. No, not with uh, not not their dangerous ones. Psycho powers. I got powers. one buff on them. Yep. Uh, I got two buffs on them, 
but they were right, right, right. you should have seen them in game i'll get to them in game three where i used them properly but yeah rock and i right, was right. a was a slow slug fest that kind of came down to attrition and that i was able to score points more passively than he was his points were more active mine were very, like to, very passive scoring so i ended up winning in an attrition i'd like war. to I'd like to break in with one thing. Uh, since I've never seen Death Guard versus Death Guard before, and I've never seen two uh, oh, list with Epidemius, you guys get buffs off each yes. other. It correct? specifies yes. friend. That is the dumbest thing I have ever it specifies seen. Specifies friend or foe. Yeah, that, that's why. Yeah, that, that's why going first and if you're playing very much like this is crucial because whether you like it or not, you're always gonna be ahead in tallies, and even when your opponent's killing your stuff. You were always gonna be ahead, and then because the, that is, you start to feel the the heat, and you kind of catch up, because you can't catch up. There's no way to catch up because no matter how much you kill, and by the time you get your full tally, the other player was gonna be having the same the full tallies for way longer than you, and maximizing right. that. Because like, so I'm not gonna it, get it, to like it, it carries over. I'm not gonna get to like right? uh, speak a whole lot on the masters tournament, considering that like I wasn't there and did not play, but I did listen to you guys talk about the games afterwards. And I was like, wait, so if you have two Epidemiuses, they play off, they get tallies off of the other army yep. too. And it's like yep. really e weird. Yeah. Epidemi so for example, Nick started, he killed two things, he got two tallies. But Nick did, uh, Rock didn't have it because he was famous in there. Or he summoned Epidemius and then Rock killed something, he got a tally, and now Nick has three. And then uh, Rock kills another thing, now Nick has four and Rock has two. So at the time, like that, that Rog was able to get some of the good buffs, uh, Nick was already capped, capped out yeah. uh, way too fast. Mm. So yeah, so that yeah. is that gives a huge advantage in, the, in terms of buffs. That's the big issue things. was uh, like in mm -hmm. whenever I got the possessed back there, I had the extra strength and attack before Rock had gotten the toughness off on his PBCs, so I was I was able to Ooh. shred them. So five attacks each. That's at strength, that's se is, at strength that's, seven. That's heavy. Yeah. I was actually scared that they can do such a feat with like there are technically like actually like with those many wounds or something like that. I was actually surprised by my rolls uh, not rolling any fives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but when you roll them, when you roll save some fives, it and you roll that many, it's always yeah. a yeah. painful. It's always like You're that. not gonna the make it. No, I rolled none of them. Yeah. Like there was like no fives there. Uh, dude. No, no. <laughs> I was, like, I, was say, I hit you with twenty five of them. You just and you saved about <laughs> exactly. I you mean, saved like, about ten. I was of actually them. expecting at least one. You saved about ten of them. <laughs> at least one. No, no, no. no. Oh, one like, of the PBCs. Uh, most of them fail. Yeah, like, one honestly. of them he failed them all, but one of them, yeah, yeah, yeah. one of them, I, agree, I got I him with twenty-five I, of them, and he got like ten of them. Right, right, right. The problem is, I got him with twenty-five. Right. That was the second PBC, I yeah, think. That was the a, first that was one, the it's one. just like it's just like no mercy. It's like, oh, what the hell just happened there? Yeah, <laughs> and the Biologus wasn't even near him, so it wasn't even running at full power. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was honestly a very hard fought game. I needed a break afterwards, but. I was just like, oh, I need a brain break. And then I get the call. Hey, Nick, you're playing Luke's Custodies upstairs. I'm like, no. Ouch. I was so mad. <laughs> it's fate. I, I, it, it was awkward fighting my own army, my mm. own models. With my own army and my own models. I'm like, no, why are I doing this? Why are my kids I, fighting each other? I know. <laughs> like, I know. Why am I truly killing was close each other? until it wasn't. Um... It was because I had poor target selection. I wasn't using the possessed correctly. Lots of mistakes on my end. Your mistake, I think. Uh, I think your mistake was you played too fast. Yeah, lot, lots of mistakes at the beginning with the the also possessed. Though, you 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 let me capitalize on that. So that's what I saw. I saw a mistake and I just punished also as much you, as I could. Where, yeah, how, no, how you got ahead was knocking out one and a half PBCs on turn one. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just, that's that's how custodians now play. That's the, the Renlux power. And because also Ultra sixes, Wood. Yeah, even Ultra Wood in the PvC. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I got them. That's why it's. Are you it's sure you didn't stupid. repaint Rock's dice? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. So I many wish sixes, I did, though. Dude, so many sixes. But yeah. I roll those sixes and like uh, you are everything is vehicles and monsters. Like Ultra yeah. Wounding, Ultra Wounding, Ultra Wounding. I was running three dices. There's also at least one six. Yeah, uh, every time it was I crazy. One. So when you auto auto one and six, it just became so easy yeah. to target vehicle. Uh, yeah, I took out the first PVC on the opening. Um, 
I took a PC, I wounded another one, and I think and I think I destroyed one by holder. Then by turn two, I was able to tangle a few things, and yeah. But then uh, by turn three, I managed to uh, to get all, all over the place. Yeah. Uh, this I sacrificed a bunch of stuff. I, I lost my captain bike, lost my chimney captain in the most. Okay, I think he will survive. He did not survive the possess. He got fucking <laughs> that bombed. That was so great. Uh, surprise! It was it was a fun thing. That, that was the only game where he did not perform. In the other two games, he performed amazingly. That one, he said, I thought he was going to survive. No, no he got 16 possessed. Just, just I only for... hit him with five of them. Um, <laughs> yeah, season uh, attacks was it. It, it was, was 20. Like, uh, was like, yeah, it was 20. Yeah, 20. Yeah. 20? I th- okay. The, the, the thing is, like, he got bonked to that. Uh, but then um, the Talamon just bonked the other two, and then uh, Trajan showed up, and then, then finished yeah. the job. Uh but yeah, it, it was. It, I think the, the I think the biggest mistake in that game was one mistake only that cost you the game, even harder than the other stuff too. And that's uh, your positioning with the blade holders. You put the blade holders behind your PVCs, and you block yes. them from moving. Ooh. So you had the two the two blade holders. And you they did not shoot no missiles, no missiles. You had two blade holders saying yep. not doing nothing from one, because you blocked them behind. And I was like, okay, great. No, that's the two massive threats. They're not and they're not doing focusing. Anything. And then I just took 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 down. Yeah, I took one down, and they was yeah. virtually. That that was the the, the big, was not big clutch m- moment for I think me. Not for also focusing down a target to get that early tally. Uh, I should have focused uh, some down for yeah, that early uh, tally, uh, and th- I think I would have had more steam. But also, I should have killed that Telamon, but I I ultimately misunderstood how to use the Biologus. And so that Telamon should have died, mm-hmm. but I misunderstood how to use the Biologus. And so he lived and my possessed died because of it. But that Telamon should have died. Ooh. And I think that mm-hmm. would have been another that would have been an entry point for me back into the game if I took that Telamon out. Because now you have to turn around and respond to a possessed ball running through your back lines. But you know, lots of things. Yeah, but the, but by the by the time the Telamon has died, two. I think uh, that, that was that was Torchon was so, tr- Turgeon was uh, was already uh, getting in there, and he's probably going to. And then he ended up right, cleaning yeah, up a lot of those. He wasn't there yet. But by the time it was turn two, by the time of turn two, I was already tangling your. By turn three, I was already right, tangling your. Turn Epidemius. two, but, uh, that the, the I should have killed that Telamon on turn two. And I think that yeah. would have been my way back in. Well, anyway, Rock. But yeah, then. Uh, uh, yeah, Rock. Oh, what about you? I, I had one more game. <laughs> Wait, is, uh, sorry, sorry. Are you, are you sure? Next, <laughs> I, was gonna say, I, I had one more game. <laughs> no, I, we are, that's uh, that's. No, no, let's go for Rock's uh, second game. Rock, how was your second game? Uh, I fought against Drew. Uh, basically, I fought Tao, yes. Um, the game was like... I'm not going to say it was hard or anything. I find... I, I think the game was like pretty easy for me. Because like it's uh, Drew's... Like, he haven't played much with a new codex also. So I guess there's that's to be given also. And he's still understanding his army also, so there's also that. It's like a breather for me, honestly, during that point. I just chilled and just point out the most I can, and yeah, everything just turned out great. Like, honestly. Uh, I got really lucky with a dash roll also, so in the first turn, I was able to kill the broadside, and like two of them, with like also with a drone, so I think that's very good. So mm-hmm. that practically just made me like you know just made me open up my pvcs out in the open and just like shoot everything what i can and yeah that pretty much like just sums up the game with like me just going slowly like taking over the like half of the board ready that's really like uh a good game for death guard honestly if it wasn't that far mm. with your armies with like, especially death guard it's like it's really hard like removing them especially like when it comes to an engine list also so no, I just want to hear you mention Tau because Nick also fought Tau in their <laughs> game. So I want to compare both you, both of your games, with, because two, the D and right. uh, Drew had two different. Yeah, but uh, in Drew's weapon choices with Tau, I can't really say it was like good. Uh, no offense, though. Like no offense. The burst cannon, <laughs> like he had like a lot of like burst cannons. Like I mean, it's good for the infantry, but like uh, some of the weapon choices were like missiles and like. Not really that much like plasma. Like plasma seems to be really good, even though that you shoot like one or two with it. But it's literally like thunder hammer. Like you're shooting at like thirty six inch range. It's like I think that's pretty good. 
I think that's what uh, most people run nowadays or something like that. I'm not so sure. Uh, I'm actually building Tao also. So it's like a great learning experience for me also. Like um, like how the Tao's interact or something like that. He did, he did have crudes doing actions, but uh, I managed to like just kill them off. Like, yes, with a mortar and with the rockets also. They are pretty nice. easy to kill. Yeah. And in the other side of the spectrum, how about you, Nick? How was yeah. your time? Um, well, the uh, the big issue is he for him is he ran three squad he ran two three squads of crude hounds and two crude blobs, and that is easy tallies. So I was able to move get up to the plus one move plus uh, the plus one move really fast. Um, mm -hmm. and then the I think part of his issue is. He allowed my possessed to walk up to his uh, stealth suits and a squad of three man crisis suits. So I had a flesh, I had a uh, blight uh, bloat drone and 10 possessed. He allowed him to waltz into his uh, crisis suits pretty much untouched. Um, and then th at this point, the biolog biologus was behind him. And so were the play casters, and they were just cleaning them up. Uh, so they were able to collect up two easy tallies on uh, on the three man crisis squad and the uh, stealth suits. And for those of you keeping tallies at home, that's five. And then I killed some crisis suits that were sitting on the main objective. And yeah, that was it. That's all she wrote. I started uh, he we both clocked out in the end. But I ended up running up and just started uh, eating through his back line in like no time at all. And he wasn't overwatching because I was running Mortarian's anvil. Um, and then so the, like, the big, the big thing is on oh, turn yes. two, pretty much, but I think by turn two or three, I had T9 PBCs. So it was like end of turn two, <laughs> I had a T9 Thanks. PBC. And I'm like, sorry, dude, that, it's over. You can't kill this thing. And you know that my blight haulers are T8, my blow drones T8, my possessed are running around at uh -huh. T7. <laughs> so it's like T6. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, infantry. And I'm just like, part. I'm sorry, dude. You're just. And he took so long to try and bring down my. Uh, he took so long to bring down my uh, plague marines. They just. They, what? I, I, oh. I sat him in dense terrain again. <laughs> but don't wait, wait, wait i'm pretty sure tau they have like some sort of equipment that they ignore terrain features uh, or something they like ignore that. cover right they don't ignore the minus one to oh, hit oh the minus one to hit <laughs> yep. the minus so one i was negating <laughs> all his marker lights and i put a pbc it. i put two pbcs in there too so i was negating all the marker all right, lights right. <laughs> he was just like sitting he was just sitting there like just getting and i was getting uh just, like he was just unloading on me and i'm like yeah i just i'm just gonna keep taking these and then that's when the reroll started and light hauler started doing work you know i started just uh he had me at the early game but the moment the tally started rolling in um things were dying too fast and his back line was gone the demon prince was going through his mid board and he had like five crisis suits right. and a cold star attempting all attempting to bring down a single blight hauler and a pbc so it was kind of yeah Oof. so he, no, he was trying to shoot it and he just couldn't get it because uh the pbc Jeez. all his weapons were strength you know four strength and strength four five and eight so you know nothing was actually hurting me and then he clocked out so he couldn't even finish trying to kill it off and his cold oh. his his stuff was a sitting duck for the next ten minutes till I clocked out. Yeah, oh. it was a hard fought game, That's but it up. yeah, it came down to the fact that my possessed just ran around, and they, he's like, "Oh, well, they didn't kill much." I'm like, "But they were they were about they were taking objectives from you. They were the big thing is that he was allowing them to gr gather tallies. The units weren't worth anything uh. to him, but those possessed picked up four tallies." so that's, that's pretty so, big yeah that's, that's a lot big, big by actually. the fourth one it didn't matter but they picked up 
crude hounds, crisis suits, and stealth suits within, you know, on turns one, two, and three. They picked up a t- they picked up a tally a turn. Interesting. And so it was that's, brutal. That's up yeah, that was a, and then he failed morale, you know, because his crude, he had big uh like big man croup blobs getting minimum three shots on all my mortars, just rolling these crude out and making them fail morale constantly. They have horrible saves also. <laughs> oh yeah, they weren't getting saves, they were just dying. And so yeah. it was allowing me to uh to get them to fail morale. And he had to pop uh, insane bravery really early, which ate through his CP. There's a insane bravery like that for top. Uh, it's because that. I would have gotten two points for uh, taking uh, for shooting him off the center, and he didn't want that. And um, I'm closing it for the other two. So, Rock, how was your third? Oh, my third game I played against top. Oh, wait, sorry, I. Played, ah, sorry, I played against Custodes. Uh, against Daniel, yes, yes, against uh, the Custard Boys. I was like, holy crap, I'm so screwed. <laughs> but the fate has decided that maybe just go easy on this one. Like, I fought against Daniel, and like, he had his like Talamon and jet bikes and everything, basically, like. Uh, what you expect from custodies, but the uh, one thing that he didn't have, which really caught me like by surprise, was like he didn't have the flag guy. You know the yeah, yeah the flag mm-hmm. guy. That's like the bane of my existence. Like I really, really hate that flag guy. It's literally giving an aura of like your minus one to hit, or like sometimes you can have like other stuff that you can give to a flag guy. But like that minus one to hit, especially like uh, when I, when I'm like running the engine list or anything i think like honestly that minus one to hit is like really really annoying it's like god dang what, what the hell am i supposed to do but i didn't see that like oh i'm in the clear like other than that like in turn one i managed to like bracket the talamon with the melta and with the p with the melta while all the pvc whiffed but the the blight holler he just like shot with two melted gun. It went through. Uh, it did the D6 damage. Like, poof, like it's crazy. It it wrecked it. I actually managed to kill one bike. And yeah. So I kept killing units or should I say like little models or something like that. Like for every turn. It got to a point that like I'm getting like Talis. That's very good. And he's losing his models. And the fact that he deep striked uh, Alora's Terminators, I think, with the captain. What's a big mistake, I think. Mm. Like, honestly. It, yeah, he's listening a little Yeah, lives. but, like, it got to a point that, like, I was like, um, I got nothing else to shoot on uh, turn three. Like, it got to that point. Like, Ugh. yeah, I'm not even joking. How? <laughs> How? Yeah, dude. It was insane rolling. I was like, what the heck? I was, like, pretty much wounding, like, most things at four or three. I mean, like, of course, the except for the Talimon is the only thing that I'll be wounding on fours. But uh, I haven't seen any snake eyes or like the twos when I'm like w- like wounding. So yeah, pretty good. So turn three, he did drop like the Terminator captains or something like that also. But uh, well, it got to a point that I left the captain alive to do my psych interrogation. I maxed out the psych interrogation also. Finally, you did <laughs> it. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Custodies, they don't have deny. Uh, they don't have like any denies or something like that. You gotta bring in something special for that. Or sisters of silence. Yep. Uh, apparently, they do have a strat on for uh, just deny. Yeah, yeah. You gotta bring after to the party. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Right, right. There you go. <laughs> wow, she's gone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, pretty much. Um, it was a good game. I I think that's like my first time I actually scored that high uh, against like custodies. I scored ninety, so yeah, that's pretty high. Jesus. Yeah, I was actually shocked that I managed to score that high. Also, the game was really in my favor. It's like against like demon engines. Honestly, like if you start to get kills like in first two turns or something, like that, and when you get that sweet spot of like two units down, where the reroll start to happen, it's like such a clutch. Like honestly, rerolls at once. Pretty huge on like all demons. Yeah. And game against Tao, I did forget to mention it's like um, when I face against it and when I'm hearing like other people like say, it's like 
once uh, facing against the tower, you just need to, instead of uh, like hiding units, you gotta like push everything in there and literally be at your face yep. in order for it to like be uh, aggressive and make them feel more cagey yeah. to the point that like you're taking the objective and like give them no breather, like literally like no quarters. They're, they're like, hyper, they're them, a hyper like, mobile army. Right. So you just got to tie it. You got to force them to stay in one place and they hate it. Tie them in. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah, correct. Um, Tau feel like that. Uh, okay. Uh, since we're closing it, since the uh, last, uh, last stretch. Uh, yeah, uh, well, I was playing Custodes, mostly because someone, he was boring my army. And told me I was lending my army, uh, even Rock was boring my army. So <laughs> I had, I had my, um, I had uh, like three, I had two armies on the table and models being borrowed all, all over the place. So, uh, I was in every table. Um, well, after I had the same three games, first game was against Tau, against Demetrius, and second game was Nick, and third game was, uh, Necrons. And I went in scared. Uh, all I've been listening in the past few weeks is all spectacles like, Chow win big GT. Chow win. Crassus suit OP. You're dead now. And I was like, okay, <laughs> uh, uh, what's going on? Like, And then D talking on the chat like, yeah, I can move 18 inches plus 6 is plus 8 on into fire fade. And now your mom is dead. Like, how? Explain, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been listening to all this kind of stuff. I'm like, bro, what, what, what the hell is this? So I came in thinking, okay, I'm going to get blasted to hell. Because there, there is one thing that uh, Tau has is the amount of shooting, and there is one thing that Custodes hate is the amount of shooting. <laughs> because even though you have, <laughs> even if you save on a two up, when you roll thirty dice, uh, you're gonna fail some. And if, even if you fail some, it's still more than enough. Um, but it's something I, I felt very tight uh, in other game. But uh, the first game in Tau, it's just like uh, Nick said, uh, they are very mobile. And uh, I went first. And I literally had to come out and get him. I just put everything. I, I threw a lot of things to the front. I even put my bikes in the middle of the open area to get blasted to hell. But uh, I somehow pulled the first turn one charge. I, I just rolled for the lulls. I was like, okay, I need a 10 inch charge. Let's what? do it. Boom, 11. I was like, okay, no, he should not have done that. But I pulled it off. <laughs> so the captain did an 11 inch charge and he killed Tim Crude by himself. Uh, so <laughs> he killed him crude. <laughs> he tangled some hounds, and then when the uh, when D was like, "Okay, uh, what's going on here?" Uh, he kills my bikes uh, because I put them in the open, but I put them in the right. open within Bexilla range, and they had them as one to hit. And he had to put two big blobs of crisis suits just to take to take them down, which they died. But uh, he had to put so much mm -hmm. effort into taking those things that uh, by the time it was my turn, I still have a lot of things on the table. And the other thing that I that he played really well, very shooty, there were a few things that, uh, that needed to get uh, better on my end as well. Um, but one thing that he tried to do, which is a good thing to do, but I don't think it worked very well. Uh, you know the, the classic punishment you do with the bodyguard rolls? You put a model in the open, but there is a bodyguard within three inches behind a building. You cannot see him, so you, cannot sh you had to shoot him. So he's, he's protected, but he cannot shoot him. So he has his ethereal next to his big blob of suits, uh, you know, buffing the ethereal, uh, buffing with ethereal. And mm -hmm. I, my captain is within 14 inches of that. Like, it's my turn. I fall back on charge with Solar Watcher 1 CP. And uh, that happened. When the ethereal died, and then he could no longer put buffs, and I start uh, putting all the pressure into this uh, Crisis of Squad, and moving on, that's when he could just feel the heat. And he felt that the game was kind of clutch uh, in turn three when I used the, this kata, it's called Captaris, that uh, if you're stuck in combat, if you want to fall back, you need to roll the dice. If you beat me, you fall back. If you don't, you stick in combat. So he had a bunch of units tangled and he could not fall back. I beat him on the rolls. So he, uh, he could not fall back with his stuff and shoot the, the dangerous stuff holding objectives. So he was a uh, stalemate in that aspect. And I won by clocking out. He clocked out. I still had 20 minutes on the table. I was playing. Um, I was trying to finish the turn. I didn't get to finish my full time because I still have five minutes on the table when Remy just put a stop to the game for the turn for the, all the tables to the start the clock. So I ended up scoring on 70 to, to 30, but I could, maybe I could have done a bit more. Just couldn't because there was no time. And then I had mm. my second game. It was with Nick, we just mentioned. 
uh, I think he went first, and that's when uh, I remember he started shooting. He kills a bunch of studies, and like he was not very happy they couldn't get tallies. But like, man, when you start killing custodies, every model you kill, it's a big thing. He, on turn one, he killed like two hundred points of custodies. Like, bro. but but I was right because yeah, I didn't you, get enough. Steam. You didn't get enough speed. Yeah, that's the truth. But still, I, I was feeling the heat. I, I yeah, relied I just on. Knew. I knew that yeah. I'd run out of steam by turn three. <laughs> yeah, I, I I needed I needed to get there. I there was a hidden moment, but uh, it was it was sold out thanks to Remy being uh, being uh, judging on that. Uh, the, the again it happened the same thing. You tangle my captain, fall back, charge with the captain, tangle something else, um, and then uh, the another MVP who just did his something out of, out of the blue. The single Alaris custodian. You screen out my my dreadnought, but you did not see <laughs> screen out that one model <laughs> that just drops alone in the corner. I of totally the forgot car. about him. Yeah, it oh, just a single happens. good Alaris servant that just drops. So like, oh, screen you. Yeah, you cannot drop the, the dreadnought, but maybe this guy can drop. Like, oh, yes. <laughs> And he just walked in, <laughs> killed a bunch of boxes, and took the objective. I absolutely love that, that like single that, dude. Yeah, that just that, walks around and stabs people, and you're like, "Wait, he's a unit." <laughs> yep, yep. Consistently on the three games, that single Alaris custodian, he carried a lot of game. He just in the corner, out of the blue, single man. I am upset. I can't just do. Try to kill me. <laughs> and he woke up to an objective that was basically unguarded or with some very chaff unit just protecting it. Like this is mine now, and it happened against Necrons. It happened against Tau. It happened against the the, the boxes. Um, that 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 was a that was a big uh, I steal your objective moment. Um, uh, yeah, I I had the moment where my terminal captain got blown out. Uh, my captain on bike he also died too. Uh, but luckily by the time uh, turn three, I managed to uh, kill the the most dangerous stuff, which is the blob of the possessed. Uh, the blow drones died quite quite by turn two. I killed the blow drones. I got the possessed. Uh, Trojan whiffed the first fight on the first combat. Mm. Trojan whiffed really hard. I failed like only hit once, but then I had to use oh. the fight twice thing. And then, yeah, he finished the job. But the first uh, seven attacks only hit once. I killed a single uh, possess. That's how bad it was because he canceled do, my rerolls yeah. with do, the uh, moving blood. Do, Oh, do, that's why he. <laughs> do uh, custodians get names taken away when they do embarrassing stuff? Because I think he should lose a name for that one. He should. He <laughs> definitely should. But then he he used it. I had to use the fight twice start uh, ability from Trojan, so he could like finish the job, and he did it. But the first time, oh man! If I didn't have the fight twice, those uh, processes would have been <laughs> an issue later. That's uh, I, uh, that's a uh, big win on itself. Uh, can I can I give a name to your Terminator captain? Uh, thrice, no, because the, no, the, no, the no, 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 you don't. No, 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 no. Because no, no, no. You said, oh, they die against you, but against the other two armies, he performed brutally. So you only have but one that, bad game and two fantastic games. You get so, a no, name that's for not each count. battle. It's a name for each battle. And no, so I no, think no. I should give him the name the, th <laughs> the thrice bonked. Don't the don't bonked get don't get me started giving names to uh, to models, man. Don't get me started with giving <laughs> because if you're gonna give that name to my custodians, I'm gonna name your bloodthirster. Just boom, because he always dies before he gets to combat. <laughs> his name's already Chuck. No, his name's already Chuck. First he, of all, he he doesn't even get to combat. He never sees Mele. He dies before he gets uh, there. Most of the time, yes, but that's actually why I bring him. Yeah, <laughs> but that's that's his that's his motto. Anyway, um, and we're gonna go with oh that. Yeah, uh, he performed badly in that game. The other two games, he just did his job. He teleported. He got in. Killed stuff. People surprised. And the last, well, the last game was the final, and thank God Remy was there because both Christoph and uh, Christoph and I were so tired, and we were both restless, tired, and mistakes happen. You get really upset very fast. Uh, but Remy just stuck by the table. Shout out to him, and just make sure to you know coach and make sure that everything we were doing was clear and we both communicating, because there were a lot of moments where like I explained some rule, he didn't get it, so Remy will fix it. And then Krista would do some stuff with Necrons I had no idea, like resurrecting stuff in different phases. So he needed to be there just to monitor stuff because we both made mistakes. For me, for example, I was trying to not make mistakes about my refunding CP because I would make sure that I did not get more than that because that was an issue I had last time. But uh, Remy was there to keep an eye on that. Um, 
and the Necrons, I I went uh, yeah I went first. I put a lot of damage in a lot of stuff. He just kept resurrecting, and the biggest shock was the bikes and the captain of the bike. It it happened the same thing. Uh, the the bikes got in there, kill stuff. They got tangled in combat. The captain fell back and charged, and he just died. And he had an open field for two characters. He killed the technomancer. He killed the lord. Uh, and then it started, everything started falling down. Uh, the, the same, the, uh, the custodian guard alone doing his stuff happened. I completely ignored the, the Silent King, because why would you focus on Silent King? We have everything else on the table that is more deadly. Uh, but he's Silent King, yeah, he killed some stuff. He killed a Talaman. He killed... Um, he, yeah, he killed my Talaman. Uh, he also killed Trajan. He also killed Trajan. But Trajan killed him in the oh. end. Oh. oh no no he didn't kill it he dropped it to two once he made the fight on fight on death he took it oh. from from twelve to two wounds uh, before he dies and then he just oh. go then the king just exploded uh, by regular fire the funny thing was like he, he rolled for he <laughs> spent CP to make explode and as you know the king has a massive explosion thing he's like two d six for range and then uh, and d six damage he rolls the range he got three three inches range. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. and then he rose the mortal wounds one two and like oh, you know I have a four afino bring his mortal right say them all like <laughs> bro <laughs> that's why I hate about freaking custodians dude like four, like emperor's finest I it's felt like so bad up, like, I felt so pain. bad like, when, the, when that thing exploded and nothing happened like wow the big explosion in 40k nothing achieved <laughs> It's like seeing a small blimp in a battle. Like, what, what just happened? It, it, like, <laughs> studies don't look at explosions because they make them cool. That's what happened. Yeah. They just didn't even bother looking at the king exploding. Um, no, by the, by the 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 biggest catch moment was he had the twenty flare uh, squad, which was oh. huge. But the problem is they're slow, and every time he had uh-huh. he wanted to move them, I would tangle foot. He managed to get in there and fall back and charge somewhere else, always out of his range. So he ended up going from one corner to the map to the other with that melee unit because that's the only he had left because I make sure to kill, to take the rid of his shooty stuff. Oh, uh, flayed ones. The flayed ones. Yeah, the, fl- yeah, the flayed ones were left. Whenever you uh, said flares, I'm like, how did you run away from guns? I mean, flares. I call the flayed ones. Yeah, they're melee. They're melee. They are like little, little yeah. Terminator boys. Because I call them uh, flayers and reapers based on the warrior, which gun they have. So I'm like, uh, how'd you outrun a 20 inch, 24 inch gun? <laughs> <laughs> I was really confused. Yeah, well, th- those guys—they're melee. They have claws. They are scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just—I just ran away because they could not keep up. And every time that he could move, I would just tangle for grenade. I remove at least two to three inches of the movement, and they always got delayed. It's low. Uh, but again, shout out to Remy for basically uh, keep an eye on both that because I made mistakes. Crystal made mistakes. Uh, we both had issues that he, they need to be called out, and Remy would call it us out instantly. So we both didn't do anything. So we were playing the game at, 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 as pure as it could possibly be played, without any interruptions and no no issues. You know, no back and forth. So it was great. Bro, he was like Superman. He was like everywhere. <laughs> oh yeah, Remy. Oh yeah, you would hear you would hear someone calling Remy, and then he would just he would just spawn right next to you. You know, boop. For for like, as I say, I after being a TO in that house, I know his pain. So I was very impressed, yep. especially okay, I'm just gonna say it. I'm impressed that someone at uh Remy's age was able to keep up with me with me at the same speed. Yeah. The same speed well, I did it. In in summary for the event, uh is it was not spoiler from the beginning. I managed to win. I got the I, I managed to win the event. I went 3 0. I scored 2 3 no, 2 37, uh, being the uh, first place, which is not that high. Rock got 234 and he was second place. Uh, oh. Good job, Rock. <laughs> um, I got first place. Uh, this is the first time I win a tournament, honestly. And uh, as much as I would like to say, oh, yeah, I, I won because I played very well, I'm not going to deny the fact that the biggest reason why I won is because the custodians were strong. The army itself is strong, but not strong in the sense they are just all the units are super bonk or something. It's just they're flexible. They can do a lot of things, and some of those things they can do, they can do better than other armies. Even though they are focused on doing that, they can do it better. 
mm-hmm. just being able to do what you want to do when you need them to do is just so convenient. I had so I had huge. moments that I needed to do I had to do action and shoot, I could do it. If I need to fall back on charge, I could do it. Uh and and at some point the CP you don't even use it to any other stratagems. I know it was uh, it wasn't a joke when I said you don't use CP for anything else that is not is not shutdown rerolls and transhuman. By turn two, I use I use all my CP because you need to make sure the first two rounds everything is alive so you can work at uh, play at, at full strength. And I, in turn two, I had no more CP because I spent everything to make sure that nothing died from the get-go and it yeah. worked it paid off and everything was alive everything was dandy by the end of the game i managed to table the the crowns and went home and the biggest thing of this and i forgot to mention but remy as far as usual thanks for doing this uh, our templar was actually in this full templar outfit running around with the most with the powerful sword of the masters of korea and I managed to become the first one, the first uh, for this event, and hopefully the first of many in the future here. For before, even after I'm here, I'm gone. At least I, I will have my name in the sword of power. <laughs> so yeah, and like I mentioned in the beginning, yeah. a, a, by the power of the codex script, I am the meta I'm, <laughs> because I'm, that's a, that that's I'm how open. it is. That's how it was. I'm open by next uh, February March. We have a. Uh... Demon codex. We have a demon codex because demons will most likely be the last one, and then I can be the codex creep, and I can put my name on there too. Yep, 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 yep. I was gonna say, and this I, scored saying- I scored 179 points, man. I have never scored. I cannot think since I started playing demons, I've never scored that low. <laughs> that that I got fourth. I'm, I'm just amazed. I've never scored that low. That's crazy. Yeah. Hey, wait, um, this is actually wait. my first time being second in, in any event, I think. It was hard so, fought. Yeah, so I'm well actually done. happy. So, so now that I have knights, do I get to complain about having 8th edition codexes as well? Yes, you can. You can. <laughs> <Hey>. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, you were like, oh, I'm gonna wait until I'm gonna wait until um maybe the end of the year to get my demon codex and be the top of the meta, and I'm like, yeah, Blood Angels probably aren't gonna get touched till 10th, so. We <laughs> all right, that's fine. Yeah, and that was pretty much the Masters of Korea. A big shout out yep. for Remy for organizing this, uh, D for letting us host, uh, for hosting this and letting us know. Uh, Jen, his wife, bless you for letting us have the house to play. Sorry that the nerds invaded your home, but my, once I again, know, I doubt she's gonna listen to this, but again, shout out to her. Um, <laughs> she let the nerds take over, which is great. Um, yeah, it was a fun event. Uh, like I mentioned, it was the first time I won something in the as a 40k. Of course, there were people who are pretty good players were not there, but it's not it's it's, it's not this missing to say that the people who have played was not good because they were really good. They all put their effort to make sure that it, it was a hell of a game. Uh, everyone did everything their best, did their best, and everyone played their, yeah. their, their, their best on top of that. Uh, Whether well, it was yeah. the first time playing the army, like Nick, he had the, he was just uh, basically learning on the win on the go. And uh, he mastered God, that was the, fun. the third game uh, to playing something anew because I had no idea it was Tau. And then I thought, oh, Tau is a thing now. Huh. Get wrecked, kid. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, overall, that's pretty much the, the event. I am happy that I won. I'm keeping my stuff. I managed to get... Uh, the, we got some cards for, from, for which, which, with our names, with all our armies and stuff. So but I, I did some... I just came up with the idea with the classic you know, high school thing. Hey guys, can you sign my cards so I can keep it as a good memory? <laughs> and everyone, yeah. everybody started uh, doing it. So everyone's, everyone's signing their cards. Like, hey, now I have uh, on my, the, my phone cover. I have a pocket that can put something for show. And now I have my card that says custody signed up by the full gang. That's a pretty happy memory. Yeah, I have. So, yeah that's uh, the thing. And, I, yep, I, I, put uh, a heartfelt, I, I put a heartfelt message on rocks. Oh God! I put a- but you know what, Nick? Uh, with the, <laughs> despite the fact that I had no sleep during that day, yes, no sleep, no freaking sleep. But still, yeah. I'm just happy that I made it to second. So yeah, I, I, I don't care. Good job, yeah, yeah. good job for everybody. I won, and- I won yeah. the emotional victory and the moral victory, <laughs> and I feel like your sleep handicap evened us out. <laughs> <laughs> considering hey. I had never seen the army. <laughs> hey, you know what? I didn't wow. lose a single game that weekend, so I really think I did the best, personally. Yeah, you did the best, Rachel. You I didn't lose a single yeah. game. <laughs> well, anyway. Right. Uh, oh my God. 
I can I can I can say it then. I uh, I don't I don't I don't know my face much, Do but it. I'm gonna go away with it. Yes, I am Do the master it. of Korea. Until I get stunned by someone in a random casual game because I'm being stupid, and there you go. <laughs> there you go. Until until another codex comes along and yeah, and, and takes was, the gold like, boys out. Oh. Yeah, and then like you know, you're like you. I am the I am the captain now. So <laughs> hey, Nit, hey guys, Nit Codex is coming. <laughs> Nobody liked that. Everybody well, hated that. Everybody hated that. Everyone yeah, will remember everybody that. Everybody hated that. <laughs> I just want to. I just want to know how long. Uh, and Sue, I know you. You say you're gonna play uh, Gene Stillers. I just want to know how long it's gonna last you. I don't think I have a. <laughs> how long it's gonna last you before you start playing uh, the Tyrannus again? Well, anyway. bring back Forces of the Hive Mind, where you can play both of them together. Oh uh, my god! That would true. Well, this was. I think that's it. Some rest for the, everything for tonight, boys and lady. Yeah. Uh, Hello. We'll cover anything we're missing. I think, yeah, I think we're all good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Very good. Okay. Yeah. This this was the war report for this week. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, I guess have a good night. Have a good week. Have a good weekend. And Nurgle bless. There you go. Ember protection. <laughs> 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 night. Night. Night.